Wannan. Thanks, Speaker. And I write, rise tonight to talk about the Portland, Portland offshore wind farm. Now, this is an incredibly important discussion uh, that the community wants to have and wants to have it with the government. We had uh, Minister Bowen visit Portland two weeks ago uh, to announce this new offshore wind farm zone uh, and say that consultations were beginning. Now, the visit by Mr Bowen was at very short notice. Uh, I think I was given about less than 24 hours, and the community, the community was not given a lot of notice as well. Um, and as a result of the visit and the declaration of the offshore consultation on the offshore wind, far, wind farm zone, there was a meeting which was called last Wednesday in Portland at the Yacht Club. And the meeting was called for three o'clock that afternoon. And much to the surprise of the organisers, the meeting at the Yacht Club was jam-packed. It was overflowing because people have some serious concerns that they want to see addressed and they've got serious questions that they want answered. Now, Minister Bowen has kindly agreed to see me next week and I will be asking a group of three or four people who attended that meeting from the various sectors of the community to come along so that they can put their concerns uh, to Minister Bowen directly. Now, the types of concerns that were being raised, uh, for instance, from one local fisherman, was that what would happen to bird life? He, through many years of fishing, has recorded all the different bird life, uh, ocean bird life, and he has it titled at, or labelled or numbered, is the right word, at 63 different varieties of seabirds. And he would like to understand what impact uh, an offshore wind farm would have on bird life in the area. There is also the southern right whale, which is protected in and around the coastline of southwest Victoria. So another issue that was raised was what would this mean for the southern right whale? And what sort of what environmental protections would be put in place for the southern right whale, given that it is a protected species? There was also concerns raised about the bonny upwelling, which takes place off the coast of Portland, which is one of the most in, important seasons for when whales breed and. We have one of the most significant breeding grounds for whales just off the coast of Portland, and people want to know what protections there would be and would be put in place for, for um, that important whale breeding which, which takes place. There was also concerns about what it would mean for squids, for uh, longline fishing, uh, when you think about the, the gaps that occur between um, the towers that potentially would be proposed as a result of this consultation. All these environmental protection considerations uh, need to be obviously taken very seriously when it comes to the consultations on this offshore wind farm. There is also the local surf board riders who want to know what the impact would be on one of the best surfing spots, although they told me not to say this too publicly, one of the best surfing spots in, in Victoria. Um, there is also those that, that glide around the area, whether it be paragliding or other forms of gliding. They want to know what the impact would be. Uh, obviously, South West Victoria onshore does more than its fair share when it comes to wind farms. So serious concerns were also raised about how you've got a vista which onshore, and we, I think, have more wind farms than any other area in Australia, and then you double that up with offshore wind farms. How much 
do we have to do when it comes to renewable energy provision? All those questions need to be answered by the minister.